Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and science for practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding median employee salary using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Google interviews over the past couple of years. Also, if you're new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. And also, do not worry if you do not have Litco Premium subscription. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can just copy it into something like Jupyter Notebook and try to attempt it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, we are given a table called employee with three different columns, ID, company and salary. ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the company and the salary of one employee. We are asked to write a solution to find the rows that contain the median salary of each company. While calculating the median, when you sort the salaries of the company, break the ties by ID. Okay order of the result does not matter right so here we have let's go through this example right so here we have several inputs for various companies right so if we look at right uh company a b and c so company a has how many uh six salaries so it tells us to return those rows where you have the median so we know about median that if you know the number of values from which you are calculating a medium is even so you take the middle right the middle two right and if it is an or so you take the mid midpoint of that after arranging whatever you want to do in an increasing manner right so for example if we look at company a right so six values so if you arrange in ascending order, right? So the minimum value is going to be 15. Then you are going to have uh, 341. Third one is going to be 451. Fourth one is going to be 513. Fifth one is going to be 2341. And sixth one is going to be 15314, right? So obviously what is what rows contain the median value? third and fourth and third and fourth were 451 and 513 right similarly for b sim and for c you have the like odd number of rows so after arranging in ascending order you take the midpoint so that is what you have right so for company a we have the third and fourth one and then for b as well uh, you have values and c you have the third part right so this is what we need to do so obviously to find the median, the first thing that we should do is we should short this entire table by company and salary in increasing manner, right? So let's sort this and save this in a data frame called DF. What we are doing is take the employee table, right? And then sort values, right? Sort values by the uh, company column, right? And then by the salary column and by default it is going to sort in ascending but let's make it more generalized by writing it explicitly so ascending is equal to true and true now let me return this right so return this data frame let me run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now this is sorted in ascending order right okay now what do we need to do is we need to keep only those rows for every company where you have the medium values right so what we can do is we can let's create a fourth column called median which is basically going to hold the median values right median values of the salary for each company so we can say okay let's create this column and now what we are doing is for every company we need it right so what we do is we do df dot group by right group by the company column and then take the salary column right and then we talked about a trick called dot transform so which basically what it does is like if you just you know if you do not know about transform how will you approach this you will say okay uh, for every uh, company you see you find the rows where you have the salaries and then you merge it back on this data frame df you have the median values populated here what does transform does is whatever you are trying to pass it to right it does everything and it merges it back on the same index right uh, i have you know explained this in detail in the previous video if you want to watch it so what i'm doing is transform and it can take either inbuilt functions or you can you know define functions as well right now what we are trying to do is we need to define a function because there is no inbuilt function in this case right so dot transform and then use the lambda function right so lambda x such that you know you are only going to keep so basically lambda x so take a data frame and only keep those indexes where 
your salary column has the median salary so how you can do that so lambda x such that you keep only those rows where x dot i log so index location it's you need to give the starting value as well as the ending value but it will not include the ending value right so starting value and then what you need to do is length of x length of x minus one right and then what does this division mean it is basically the floor so basically if you think about this right so here for company a how many what is the length of x six right so there are six rows six minus one is five five divided by two is 2.5 but because we are using a floor function it is going to keep the lower value right so two so after arranging it right so this for this particular uh, company a this is going to be index location 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so index location 2 and 3 are the ones that you need right for company a so just by doing this you are taking you are starting from index location 2 right so that is what you do and then go to right so then you go to length of right length of x divided by 2 again the flooring function plus 1 right what is this doing so 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4 so start from 2 go up till index 4 but do not include index 4 so basically what it means take index 2 and 3 right and index 2 and 3 are the rows where you have the median value similarly for b right so b also has 6 rows right so it will again do 2 and 3 for c let's see how it is working for c so c you have what is the length of c 5 right so 5 minus 1 is 4 divided by 2 is 2 so start from index 2 so 0 1 2 index 2 and then 5 divided by 2 right that is 2.5 but flooring function so 2 plus 1 3 so start from 2 go up till 3 but do not include 3 so basically just keep index location 2 so you see how this is generalized and this works either it is an odd case or an even case right okay so now this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here now okay so now in the median column it is going to populate nulls where there is no median for that particular company and it populates the value of the salary where you have that right so now you have this then all you need to do is do a boolean indexing that only keep those rows where median value is not null right so then what we can do is df of median right is null is null is equal to equal to false right let me again run this let's see what do we have here right now okay so now we have the median values as well but what we require in our output we just require the id company and salary part right so we can just provide the list of uh, columns that we need in our output so id then company and then you need the salary part okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it so yeah somewhat tricky question what you need to do is firstly we sorted by you know company and salary in ascending order because we require that to calculate median then the way we calculated median is using the transform function right let me know how you can do this using apply function you can do this using dot apply as well right but how that will the solution look like in that case and then what we did was we grouped by the company because for every company we are trying to get the median salaries and only keeping those rows where index belongs to a certain condition right and then once we had that so we only we made sure that okay wherever your median is not null right you keep only those rows and return only the columns that were required in our output so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video